Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, and today we are back with one of your guys' favorite series here on the channel. It is a full 12-win classic challenge with 3.0 Expo Cycle series. This is one that has been highly requested for a long time. I actually don't know exactly how long it's been since I did one of these, probably at least a few months though, maybe numerous months, but... Uh, yeah, basically in the series, I go from zero wins in a classic challenge all the way to 12, all with 3.0 Expo Cycle, my personal favorite deck in the entire game, even if it's not very viable right now. And the goal of this series is to not only be informative and help you guys out by, you know, showcasing the early wins, zero to six wins, because usually classic challenge videos are, you know, six wins and above, but also just so that I can, you know, have some fun, you know, with this series. Obviously, I'm recording it live and just talking for like 50 minutes to an hour because that's how long a full classic challenge would take. So it's just kind of nice to, I guess, express my thoughts and just talk about stuff with you guys. But yeah, we're pretty much back with the series now. Before I get into the games, I just want to say, uh, please let me know if you would like the series to be recurring and if you would like to see it more in the future because your feedback is pretty important to me. I would like to get content out for you guys that you actually want to see. But also, this series does take a significant amount of my time, which I do not have much of these days uh, since I've been pretty busy with, busy with class. Uh, so let me know if you guys would actually like to see this, like how badly you actually want. I did make a community post earlier, and a lot of people actually did already seem to really want it back. So I decided to just, you know, do one today. Just sit down for the next hour and play some classic challenge gameplay. But please make sure to like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see if I make it happen, you know, once a week or even a few times a month. We'll see how it goes, but let me know if you would like to see it. Anyways, we are playing with Thrupano, playing with Ice Spirit. Let's get right into the matches and see how things go. So it's also pretty fun, I guess, because I just get to, you know, practice my comments and just kind of have fun like this is more of a laid-back thing because classic challenges for me honestly aren't very stressful I have actually lost uh, I think one or two classic challenges in the past uh, in as part of this series that I posted it goes for a wizard match gonna go for an expo instead of fire along the wizard because it's more uh, aggressive and I feel like I can get more out of it and add, oh that was a misclick I was actually trying to fireball the pigs would have gotten a huge lock but I'm still gonna try and defend this I guess but that's a bit unfortunate um, but I can obviously just go for skeletons for the wizard. That's kind of the premise of that play. As you can see, pretty nice surround. You can actually surround a wizard. I don't believe you can full surround a wizard. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Every single time I've tried it always survives. Or always takes out two skeletons and one remains. Okay, he goes for a Valk 2. I guess I'm going to have to cycle back to my knight. So I'm just going to go archers down low, cycle back to my knight, and the knight to protect them. Okay, that was an epic failure because... Obviously, the Valk went right to the archers, but uh, they should still be okay. Gonna Ice Spirit for the bomber, and this should jump. No, it does not. Okay, a bit unfortunate there. I'm actually gonna take this, though. I don't want to log and overcommit. I'll take some chip. That's fine. Two bomber hits is really not the end of the world, and we're still looking really good in this game. So I could actually go Expo, maybe, because if he goes Pigs Wizard, that's a free fireball, and I feel like that's honestly gonna be a pretty solid play. So I'm just gonna do it right now. Expo, and if he goes Pigs, I'm gonna fireball them, and he actually just panics, I guess, and goes Zappy's late. I'm not gonna fireball that. I'm going to fireball now. Yeah, I had a feeling he would go pigs or something so I could get more fireball value. I sadly did miss two pigs, but still, you know, I think it was definitely worth it waiting because... Actually, I don't know. I could have fireballed the zappies straight up and then I maybe would have been able to make something happen because even if you went pigs, X would have been on tower and might have taken his tower, but still, you know, this is still looking really good right now and I'm pretty happy with uh, how we're doing in this game right now so yeah first three wins of the challenge you can expect to see all sorts of crazy decks and not really stressful again that's why i like this series because i know a lot of you guys uh sometimes maybe struggle with classic challenges and i mean i've been there too classic challenges were actually how i improved with through expo cycle actually 2.9 expo cycle back in the day i think that fireball can barely hit the wizard's gonna get it nice um, yeah, I literally practiced with, uh, classic challenges. I said this story a few times, but literally when I was in high school, I would play, you know, one classic challenge a day or so on the bus and just have fun. And it was just really enjoyable, big, uh, memory for me. And that was just great. So yeah, I honestly do empathize. Even if you guys say, uh, that you have trouble with classic challenges, you know, everyone starts somewhere. Uh, but my goal is mainly to just kind of have fun, I guess. And also... Uh, just showcase some different play styles against, you know, mid-ladder decks, because this is actually a really nice series, since first few wins, you can really get any deck in the game. Like, what is this deck? You know, Bomber, Skeleton King, Wizard, Valk, Pigs, like, this is definitely, like, a mid-ladder type deck. And mid-ladder, the definition has kind of changed now. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's obviously not going to be trophy range-based, because trophies don't really matter too much anymore, ever since they made that change to Trophy Road and Casual Ladder, where trophies don't really count for any ranking whatsoever. So I feel like mid-ladder is now, I guess, like, 
lower down in Ultimate Champion, because I mean over 40k, over 100k people reach Ultimate Champion at this point. I don't know, I'm not trying to um, like minimize anyone's achievements though, but yeah, I feel like it's still pretty good. Like just the definition of a mid-ladder deck, I guess just one that's kind of weirdly constructed. Okay, this guy has a minus one ladder finish. I think that's a glitch. I don't know what it actually means though, because if he actually has like a top one, that would be pretty scary, but... Do you see a tombstone for the ice spirit? I'm going to skeletons before going log because I want to log as late as possible just to take the tombstone out. Tombstone is a very annoying card. I usually just log it. Unless I know I'm against graveyard, then I sometimes just start fireballing it. We do see a golden knight too. So tombstone, golden knight. This could be golem, worst case. Could also be graveyard, I suppose. Don't think it's going to be e giant with the uh, tombstone in there. Doesn't make too much sense. It's not going to go archer. It's going to go tesla. Oh, it's going to be recruits. Wonderful. So we're going to have recruits with tombstone. That's very strange, actually, but, um, okay, I'm going to fireball the, I think I missed, I did not, okay, nice, I'm going to get that fireball, and then he's probably going to go pigs soon, so I actually have to be pretty careful of that, going to archers down low, and I'll I think I'll take some recruits chip, and I guess I do have to commit to these pigs, sadly, even if I want to defend, or I want to go in, rather, I actually do really want to go in right now, but I think I have no choice but to defend, just because that would have been way too much damage, but maybe he'll overcommit to this, and I can go expo on the right, we'll see. Okay, Tombstone's going to be a pretty good way of defending, unfortunately, for us, so... Also, has a Gold Knight back in cycle, I believe, so I don't think I can get anything done here. Hopefully, Archer locks onto Tower. No, it barely doesn't, so that's... We didn't really get anything out of that, unfortunately. Really not looking great right now. Kind of Skeleton's the bridge, because, I mean, Skeleton's in the back. Like, this is really niche, and you probably won't do it, but he could go, like, Golden Knight and Dash. Um, I'm going to split archers, though. Those recruits definitely going to expo right now. I'm expecting him to go golden knight and just shut down my expo, but if he doesn't, then that's going to lock. Oh, he just barely gets it down. I thought maybe he messed up and got it down late. Still going to knight for the golden knight, though, because I would like to protect this expo. going to log as early as possible so I can take the recruit shields off. It should be a pretty solid opportunity, actually. I'm going to ice spirit and skeletons for this recruit. I think that should be a pretty good play because, as you can see, the expo staying alive. It'll actually help out against that recruit in the left, and it might actually lock onto tower after, and it does. So that's actually a really nice little play there. I could have done some things, or I could have kited the recruits out of expo range, but I feel like that was just really nice. I'm going to expo right now. I'm definitely expecting him to go pigs on the expo, so I'm going to hover my fireball for it. Yep, there are the pigs, so gonna go fireball, gonna archers, he should not have enough for his uh, royal recruits right away. Gonna log the tombstone ASAP, I do really need a lock right now, I don't think I'm gonna get it though, sadly. Gonna knight for the golden knight, actually doesn't dash onto the expo, which is very huge, and this should be... Oh, he has to fireball, that's really good. Sadly, I don't get any damage out of that, but I mean, it was a pretty good situation, I think I'm actually gonna go in, because I hope he's low on elixir after that fireball. Goes recruits, I'm gonna log after the shield gets popped. Uh, I think that was the ideal timing. Then that's a free fireball. And I might actually try and kite these recruits out of expo range right now. It does get the zappies down in time, so... I'm just going to defend now, let the expo die. I have to worry about defense, and you could go pig, so... I have to be very careful. Actually goes tombstone. I think that was a bad tombstone. Definitely kind of panicking against the expo. Uh, because he very easily could have gone pigs there and maybe punished. But I'm going to go in again. I don't think he's back to recruits. He might be now that he played the golden knight, but he wasn't before. Yeah, he is, so I'm going to log all of them. And then just, I guess... I don't know, like, this is a really annoying matchup. It kind of sucks to get this so early on. Got a knight for the golden knight, and uh, we do keep the Tesla just barely alive, but not really by much. That's actually a pretty good fireball, because Expo might be okay, but okay, this is not looking very good, actually. I'm going to log. He does have arrows, so yes, fireball arrows, like, really hard counter. I really don't want to lose that two or one win, man. Like, that would be really bad, but it's looking like it might be a possibility here. <laughs> That's, oh my god, wait, but... I'm going to have to try and get a lock again, so I guess I just have to go in, no choice. Tombstone is actually really bad, because as you can see, it's just so annoying at stalling out for the expo forever. It's just a pain, and he's going to defend that just fine, so I'm going to have to... Oh, hold on, what was that? Okay, we got a lock. I'm going to protect this, obviously, because what in the world is he doing? I'm going to log the recruits, too. Just keep this one HP expo. One lock is literally everything in a hard matchup like this. That is a really bad set of zappies, because I just got a free fireball. I think my opponent just threw the game. I don't know what he was thinking with those recruits. He played them way too low, but... I'll take it, I guess. I'm going to go for a second Tesla for these pigs. Really, really deep Tesla down low, but should be pretty good. And then those recruits just going to get a free log. Knight, I can actually afford to be a bit aggressive right now. And then I'm going to go archers here because Gold Knight will obviously dash onto them if I play them in the right. And I'm just going to log all of this and just kind of cycle him out. I'm going to actually Ice Spirit last second. Okay, didn't work out the way I planned, but... Yeah, this is looking great. Gonna archers off to the right, because I don't want him to arrows on... Yeah, exactly. As I suspected, he's gonna go arrows on my uh, weak tower, so I did not want to allow him to get that value on my archers. Gonna cut the golden knight out of expo range, and then log this, and this should actually be a lock. Yep, really nice play. We play that one pretty much... 
not flawlessly, but as well as we could have, I guess. I mean, that one time I took a ton of damage was not ideal, but otherwise that was a really good game against recruits. All the way at one win, we're already getting really ridiculous matchups like those, but hopefully that helps you guys out, you know, with a game plan against worse players. That's another reason I love classic challenges, because honestly, I have a lot more experience than many of these players, so even if they have a hard counter, it's usually not too bad to beat them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give my opponent good luck here against VK. And I actually feel like going Expo first play, I'm just going to do it, whatever. If I lose, I lose for it, but I'm going to go Expo. Skeleton is technically supporting the Expo 2. Goes Dark Prince Tombstone. Honestly, he's already very low on Elixir. I'm actually going to Ice Spirit and Archers for the Eye Drag. And this should actually be a lock if he doesn't have arrows. I'm going to go Skeletons 2. He does go Bar Barrel, so that's a pretty good Expo counter. And Archers counter in general, but... We do take the Inferno Dragon out, and we don't get any damage, but we found out more about his deck. So he has Dark Prince, Tombstone, Eye Drag, Bar Barrel. So he probably has Graveyard, if I had to guess. Um, but Dark Prince is really bad against Expo, so that's really nice. Would much rather go against Dark Prince than like a Valk or a Knight, just because the HP. I'm actually going to go in in the left, because you might expect me to go in in the right, so you might play something in the right, so I'm going to go in. Yup, goes E-Giant. Okay, not what I was expecting, but that's like, it pretty much just worked out, right? Dark Prince, really bad Dark Prince. He's at like zero elixir right now, so yeah. Even if he got it down in time, that still would have been a law, because I would have easily defended the Dark Prince, and yeah, I don't really... I think my opponent made the best play. They're not going to commit to the Ice Wiz. I wanted to, but if I fireballed, I would have barely had enough for this Tesla. I think it wasn't worth it. Might as well just Tesla first and then uh, try and just defend well. And I can Ice Spirit for this Ice Wizard. I think it's definitely... That was a very clean defense. I would say I'm actually going to Skeleton 2 just to cycle and not take any chip. And yeah, that was like pretty much best case scenario. Not sure what that E-Giant was all about. I, in a way, predicted the E-Giant with my Expo, but obviously not really because... How could I expect him to go E-Giant, like, third play in the back or something? But if he goes back for an E-Giant right now, that's going to be a very bad play because... And he does, and it's a really bad play because he's at, like, zero elixir. I don't know what he's thinking. I'm going to not Ice Spirit for the Eye Drag. Actually, I'm going to go in because I believe they should be fully defended. And that NATO means he's definitely at, like, zero elixir right now, so I think he's kind of screwed. I'm going to skeleton to cut the Eye Drag over, make sure I don't lose to the Inferno Dragon. But, yeah, that's pretty much GG. Really, really nice play. Cutting the Inferno Dragon over and then just catching him very low on elixir. Because I knew that Tesla Archer setup would full counter the E-Giant and Eye Drag push, like, whatever was left of it. So, honestly, really, really nice stuff. And, yeah, I mean, my opponent's not going to give up, but I don't really see any point in him continuing because this game is over by every count, so. I mean, he can try. I'll give him credit for trying, but yeah. I, I think he has a lightning in here. Most E-Giant decks do run lightning, but he's just not playing it, which is interesting. Also, as you can see, archers are very good against E-Giant. If you can just protect them and, you know, separate them from the push, they're really strong against E-Giant. Goes lightning, and I'm actually going to get more damage on his right tower than he got in my right one. Plus, I already took his left tower, so that was pretty funny. But yeah, he gives a good game. I think he just gave up with that lightning, so... Might as well take the second crown, even though it doesn't matter. I think my pass real is already maxed, but it's fine. Uh, I guess I'll wish him good luck in the rest of his classic. But yeah, that was an interesting E-Giant game. It did not last long at all. He lost, like, right at the start, as soon as he went E-Giant in the back. Uh, like, third play or something. But, I mean, we take that. So yeah, pretty interesting one there. Three wins now, so we are one quarter of the way there to finishing the classic challenge. Um, but yeah, honestly, like, sometimes it gets kind of tiring just playing and commentating live for, like, you know, 50 minutes straight, but if I enjoy myself and I'm feeling good, like, right now I'm feeling pretty good because I did my back exercises, I'm feeling quite happy about it, you know, I've been trying to get more dedicated with them, and it's definitely been going well so far, so if I'm, like, feeling good and, you know, pretty high energy or at least more than normal, I'm totally fine with doing something like this because I do love just, you know, playing the game and, you know, commentating and stuff, like, just expressing myself i guess that's a big reason of why i even started this series because most people don't really do this right i'm gonna go knight for the bowler skeletons for the pekka really nice play as you can see i went knight to distract and then skeletons to distract the pekka so two different distractions there but very very nice overall i'm actually gonna go expo because the knight is gonna survive on a sliver of hp and tesla's alive too plus he has no bowler or pekka which are likely his main expo counters and he goes for a wizard super far back i feel like he might be going for a mega knight in front of the wizard because that's usually what that play means okay i called it yep I'm not even worried about it, though. They're just going to Tesla for the Mega Knight. I'm going to try and activate King off this Mega Knight, too. So once it gets taken out, uh, I'm going to go Ice Spirit like that, activate King, then go Knight Log for the Wizard, and that's going to retarget, take the Wizard out, and activate King off the Mega Knight. So pretty much a flawless sequence there. King Tower activation off the MK, and even defended with the Wizard with no issues. Plus, he actually has to respond to this Knight right now, and he does not, so we get even more damage. Goes Hog. I'm just going to Defensive Expo. I could have gone Skeletons and, like, sacked it, but... 
didn't really have anything else if he went like for a zap or something so i think that was the best play but yeah he pretty much already won that was a really nice defensive sequence actually i'm considering making that a short because that was just very clean but he goes for a bowler in the back i think i'm down elixir right now because he went bowler when i was at like four or something so if i'm really down six this is not good but I don't think it's going to be that bad, especially... Okay, I'm actually down a lot of elixir, but it should be fine considering I have the king activation. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Knight for the bowler, skeletons for the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, okay, did not work out this time. Kind of messed up. Also, he has arrows, which is kind of annoying, but they should still de full defend the bowler because Tesla should take the targeting. And then if he goes hog, I am one off a of Tesla. So that's the beauty of pre-cycling a Tesla. You already get back to one very quickly. But... It's also not that good anymore because Tesla is not a very strong card ever since they nerfed it, of course. Got a defensive expo and Ice Spirit just to force something out in front of the MK. Otherwise, it'll get some tower chips. A really nice little play there. Only for one elixir, definitely worth it. Gonna fireball the wizard 100%, and then I'm expecting him to go hog behind this MK, which is totally fine. Like, it's not gonna be hard to defend at all. I can go log on that. Skeletons for the hog, and then if he goes arrows for the skeletons, like, I can probably go in and win because he'll be very low on elixir. Gonna kite this MK all the way to the left, and then just, I guess, ignore it or. Yeah, that should be fully defended. I'm going to go Archer just to be safe, but yeah, that's pretty much fully defended. Then I can just go Tesla, and just pre-Tesla is really nice because you do get to uh, defend. It goes for the classic MK P.E.K.K.A. push. So I'm going to let the MK lock onto the Knight, then go Skeleton. Same principle as the Bowler play, where I'm taking it out first. And okay, this is looking a bit dicey, but it should be fine. I'm going to Fireball the Wizard plus P.E.K.K.A., and then get back to a Tesla for this. And then even if my Tesla takes one hit, I should be fully defending this. Because yeah, the King Tower activation is just very helpful. And at this point, I feel pretty comfortable just going for two fireballs and a log. So he's going to cycle the first log right now. Um, and he actually lets it go, I think. So yeah, that's going to be GG's. Really, really nice win against MK, Hog, uh, Pekka, Arrows, Wizard. Like, that's by definition mid ladder. And I'm sure a lot of people would like to see, you know, how to play against that matchup. Because uh, I, I think a lot of people complain about, you know, many tanks and possibly get a lock. So that was pretty much picture perfect, I guess. That was a really nice game against it. You know, def uh, took the tower, defended the MK wizard push very well, actually activated king off of it. And then just honestly did very well at the end. So next game against Stay Attila. Going to go Ice Spirit first play. So far, we haven't really found much of a use case to be going for the Electro Spirit. I feel like E-Spirit is a safer bet, but uh, I just love Ice Spirit too much at this point. He goes for a barrel. That's kind of far back, so I'm just going to log down low just to be safe. And he goes for... Wait, what? Pig's Golden Barrel. Okay, so Pig's Barrel, this is not really a meta deck in that case, so... Okay, Knight the Bridge and Spears. I'm going to go Archers for the Knight and then Knight on top of the Spear to take them out directly. Pretty solid play, and he has to respond to this. Rascals, I'm actually going to expo because he should be super low on elixir after that, like extremely low, and I think that should definitely lock on. If it doesn't lock on to the tower, it'll definitely help against the rascals, and yeah, there it is. So, going to get ready to fireball. Okay, actually going to go skeletons for the Valk, try and cut it over, just get the most value out of this expo. And I don't, I really want to log the Valk actually, but I'm not going to because I know he has a barrel. I'd rather save the log for the barrel. Instead, I'm just going to go ice spirit. I could have also gone ice spirit. Yeah, exactly. If I logged, I wouldn't have had it for the barrel. And I could have gone, okay, missed one. Could have gone Ice Spirit 2 to get even more of that Expo lock, but then I feel like it was safer to just let the Expo die and then go Ice Spirit after. So, you know, these kind of small things, these small decisions really just come with experience. You can never be taught this is exactly how much to defend this Expo in every scenario. It's kind of like a constant thing based on your experience. Um, so, yeah, I guess just practice more is my advice to you guys if you want to learn, like, Expo how much to defend and stuff like that. But he should be super low again because Pig's Poison is 9 Elixir. Doubt he has enough for a Rascals right now. Yeah, he just doesn't. So that's going to be Tower Down. He can go Rascals and it won't even be enough. I can literally just go Knight on top of the Rascal Girls and this won't be any issue at all. I'm actually going to go Knight plus Ice Spirit because uh, Knight doesn't one-shot. But that uh, combination does. So very nice little play there. Bit of an overspend, but yeah, it, with the e it's even easier because you don't have to worry about hitting the Ice Spirit. You can just e wherever you want on the Rascals. So I guess e would be more helpful in this matchup, but... Honestly, it's really not bad at all. Gonna log that, and then Archer's Spear should go in front, I believe. Okay, just one goes in front. Um, but still, you know, pretty solid defense overall. You're not really taking any damage, and at this point, I'm just gonna defense of Expo. It's a bit slow of a playstyle, and like, you know, not really being aggressive, but it doesn't really matter. Like, he can't do anything about it, so who really cares? Gonna log these pigs. I don't want to fireball them, and if I uh, do get a Goblin Barrel coming down, I can just go for a fireball on it, so not really worried at all. I'm actually gonna pre Tesla right now, because it should be low on Elixir. I think that's the first time he played a Baby Dragon this whole game. Very interesting. Gonna Knight to protect the Tesla, of course, to win this bridge battle. I'm gonna, gonna go Cycle Cards for the Goblin Barrel. I'll take like, yeah, I took like one hit, I think, so not bad at all. Gonna log all of this, and that should be a lock, I believe. He has Knight plus Rascals plus. 
uh, Valk. So he has a ton of tanks. So again, another example of how to play against a deck like this, I guess, with numerous tanks. As you can see, he's just defending, but just bleeding Elixir, and that's going to be tower down. Like, he can get a poison down. We're actually going to get more damage than he got on my right side tower. So that's going to be GG. Very nice win. Honestly, I think I'm playing pretty much perfectly right now. Classics are, again, not stressful at all for me if I'm, like, in a good mindset, and I definitely am right now, so, yeah, feeling pretty good. Uh, obviously, the difficulty will ramp up as we get to the 6-win range, you know, 8 wins plus, even 10 sometimes, uh, so I can't speak too soon, but, yeah, we're playing pretty well. I mean, we beat Royal Recruits with a Gold Knight Arrows Fireball, which is, like, one of the worst matches of the entire game for Expo, so I feel pretty confident. We do see the Goblins plus the Ice Spirit. This could be Mortar. Really hope it isn't, but I'm going to go Expo and find out what it is. Goes knight, okay, probably going to queen if I had to guess, going to go skeletons to anticipate the queen. Nope, so he's actually, yeah, there's the queen, going to fireball the queen ASAP, and then that should be a small lock, yeah, tiny lock, you know, could have gone fireball sooner, of course, but I mean, we still get, you know, 500 damage or so, so not bad. So the question I have now is whether this guy has poison rocket or poison miner. And I really think it's actually Poison Rocket, because why would he be going Goblins at the bridge instead of going Miner? And that's a really bad sign, because honestly, that's a really hard matchup, I think. But we'll see how it goes. He's going opposite lane to me, which is a big mistake on his end. You're actually supposed to go same lane against Expo with many decks, so I'll take that. Gonna Expo right now. Let's see if he has a Rocket. Um, gonna Skeletons in case he goes Queen, actually. I think it's worth it. And he lets it lock on, which is... He goes... Okay, so it is that Rocket Poison deck. Wow. So I'm not going to commit to this, I think, because, yeah, he goes queen, I have to defend this, so I can't really afford to um, commit to that. I'm going to go knight, and then ice spirit, this is the beauty of ice spirit, he's going to go ability, and the ice spirit will just hold it in place, frozen, and that's going to be taken care of. Then he can go archers, I don't really care if the motor gets, like, one hit on tower. I think it's actually better to let the motor lock on, then go archers in this case, because if he, uh, d if I did just let it take the archers out he would have had to only go ice spirit or log but this time he had to go both ice spirit and log i'm gonna go for an expo right now because he should be very low on elixir actually after that or at least kind of low and he's not back to uh oh he actually is back to rocket but he's not really back to poison yet um i'm gonna need to break the queen actually because i think he might go queen and that would be a very nice okay he does go rocket so a bit unfortunate as you can see this is a i, th I think it's a pretty bad matchup like i don't think he should really lose this ever but uh, obviously he is kind of losing this as we speak. Hopefully get one hit on tower with the knight. No, I don't. Okay, unfortunate. So I'm actually probably going to have to start going expo on the left just because... Okay, defense and mortar is a pain, but really bad play because I can fireball. Should have gone the anti-fireball mortar placement. Um, but I'm going to defensive expo, I guess. Uh, just because, why not? And he goes queen. Like, I don't really want to go in, so I think this is fine. He might rocket cycle my tower. That would be pretty funny and actually annoying. And he does. Wow, okay. So I'm going to log the queen back. And Fireball Tower, he's definitely forced to play into me right now. Goes Mortar, really bad Mortar, because I can literally just uh, take it out with my defensive Expo. Then I'm just going to Expo right here, and he should be... He misses the Expo with the Poison, so he's forced to Rocket my Expo right now. Goes Knight, but if he doesn't Poison, then he loses. Or if he doesn't Rocket, he loses. So I'm going to go Archers in case he goes Queen. And he's trying to defend without the Rocket, does not work out. That's going to be a really nice win against a terrible matchup, but also, no offense to my opponent, a terrible player as well, because... There's no world in which you should lose that. I would never lose that from Mortar side, I guarantee it. So, yeah, I don't know. The game just seems to hate us right now, you know, recruits and then this. But, honestly, not too bad. So, let's see. Six wins, halfway there in the CC. Only been 23 minutes, so we're playing pretty fast, you know, getting some nice three-minute games. And, yeah, really annoying matchup there. I would actually rather go against a minor version than the Rocket, for sure. Because they can just Rocket Cycle later on with the Queen down, but... My opponent was just not playing that well whatsoever, and that's, again, why I love classic challenges. I don't have to stress as much, even if against a hard counter, because I have my game plan, and they usually don't have the game plan against Expo. Also, I feel like Expo is not a very popular deck right now, because it's not really strong, at least 3.0, so a lot of people don't really know how to play against it, and that definitely helps out. Um, goes Giant. Okay, Giant Skarmy looks like it's going to be Giant Graveyard right after getting that Mortar matchup. That's... Pretty dumb. I'm going to go for an Ice Spirit for this, um, and I'm actually going to go Knight as well. Wow, actually Ice Spirit did not jump. I don't know why, but that was really bad. Um, and this is actually looking really bad right now, because he's probably going to go Graveyard, and I don't know if I can defend it. I'm going to go Skeletons, and then I don't think I can Tesla, because if he goes Graveyard... Okay, goes Witch. Uh, I think that's actually fine. If I log first, and then Fireball the Witch plus Giant, I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm alive. I actually defended that pretty well. But now we can go... Okay, Skarmy. I'm going to go Ice Spirit for it. Hopefully it full counters. Ice Spirit would obviously full counter, but... Oh, Ice Spirit actually does. Nice. Let's go. So really nice stuff there. Just a free plus two. Um, and we're pretty much doing pretty well. If that Ice Spirit hit on the minions, that would have been a huge lock. But somehow we didn't get the hit. I don't know why. 
Um, I guess... I mean, minions do two, two shot of Ice Spirit now, which is really annoying, actually. But... Yeah, it goes Snowball. I think I'm going to split Archers, and then if he goes Giant in the back, I'm going to go Expo and Knight to break the Queen. Actually, he has a Witch, not a Queen. Never mind. But Giant in the back, going to go for an Expo right now. He should be forced to play something in front, like a Dark Prince. Yep, so there it is. And I'm just going to go Knight right here for the Dark Prince, keep my Archer plus Expo alive. And then this should honestly be pretty solid. He probably has to commit to this. Um, I'm going to Fireball the Witch. I hope I hit it. I did hit it, just barely. Nice. I'm going to Log as well, because this should actually be a potential Lock because uh, of that log, and we do get... Okay, we almost got a tick, but no tick. It's going to Ice Spirit 2. I'm actually one off an Expo, so... If he overcommits to that, and he does with Skarmy, I can probably go in right here. I really think I can go in, and he's not back to Giant. Actually, I think he is, because he went Giant at the back, but I'm still playing this very aggressively, because I think that's how you want to play this matchup in general. You don't really want to let them build up big Giant Graveyard pushes, so... I think this is definitely the strat. Going to Fireball the minions. I think there's no really better play here. So Fireball right now, and I'm actually get a lock... And I just barely don't. Okay, wow. Expo's on tower. I saw it, but didn't want to get a lock. That's unfortunate. Uh, but whatever. Okay, he goes Witch the back. I'm going to Tesla, I guess. And he might be going for a graveyard pretty soon, so I have to be careful. Um, I don't really know what he's doing, actually, because he could go either lane. So I'm just going to split archers. Might not be the best decision. I'm going to log the Dark Prince plus Skarmy right away. I think he's going to go in, yeah, on the left, so I have to watch out for this. I'm going to get back to... Uh, actually, not going back to a second Tesla. I have to get back to archers for this graveyard. Ice Spirit up high, and then he actually misses the archers. Nice, so that's just a free log on everything. And then I'm going to Expo to protect my archers plus tower. And uh, I think he's back to giant right now. He goes to our prince. Going to try trick knight to make it jump over the river. Hopefully I made it. Nope. Okay, did not work out whatsoever. Wow. Actually, knight went the exact opposite direction of where I wanted it to go. But that being said, he's actually in a bit of trouble right here. Goes main is going to fireball plus log. Might get a small lock here. And we do get a tiny lock. One lock, wow, literally. I'm getting, I'm getting, like, no damage from all my efforts. But Knight's going to force response, actually. Or it's going to get one hit. Yep, one more hit, so we take that. Goes for a Dark Prince, going to Giant. Or going to Knight, rather. Probably going to Giant next, and that's honestly fine. Okay, he actually misplayed and did not get the Skarmy down in time. So that's GG. If you guys ever get a lock against Giant Graver and it's, like, end game, protect the Expo with everything you have, because they have no resets at all, as you can see. So I, I don't think I let him play, like, a single Graveyard. I let him play, like, one Graveyard the whole game, I think. And even then, he pre-arrows and missed my uh, Archers. That was, like, a pretty much a perfect game against Giant Graveyard. I know, again, it's a classic challenge, but I still, you know, I enjoy playing matchups right, and, yeah, I guess it's just pretty fun. Uh, like, I do have the game plan down. It's just a better player would not fall for uh, that trick as easily. Like, they would actually know how to defend the Expos and stuff like that. But we take those two pretty tough matchups in a row. Granted, he'd also have the Witch, not the Archer Queen, which is definitely more annoying. Archer Queen is like a huge Expo counter. And just three-card cycle in general, so... Much rather have the Witch. That was a really clean defense and single, though, against that deck, honestly, where I Fireball logged the Witch. I was really happy with that. Finally, a log bait game. Hopefully it's Mighty Miner log bait, because... I don't really like this matchup, but I would like to show you guys how I play it, because uh, I think it's still pretty popular in the meta right now, especially because Riley is like always doing super well, and he's pretty popular on YouTube and stuff, so I feel like a lot of Logbait players would be playing right now. I'm going to Fireball the Gang, and then just Ice Spirit down low. If there are only two Spears, you can Ice Spirit, and it won't die. If there are three, though, you can't do this play. I'm just going to Log the Princess, and uh, if he goes Barrel, I can just go Archers plus Skeletons. Not really a big deal whatsoever. If he goes Dark Albin, I can also go Archers, so either way. Not really stressed. Gonna pre-cycle skeletons first for the barrel. And then Expo, actually, because he might uh, not really go in right away. Rascal's bait. Interesting. Okay, so gonna go... I guess I'm just gonna knight on the Rascal Girls. I think this should full counter. I mean, knight will pretty much die, but I think it will still do fine. Yeah. As you guys saw in the other game, I went knight plus ice spirit, and it was a much better counter. This was, like, a bit more dirty, I guess, because knight just kind of took a beating, but... It did get the defense done, so it was fine, and this is a pretty easy way to defend. Archers plus Ice Spirit. And then, so he probably has a Prince in here too, Prince Bait with Rascals. Um, that's a free Fireball and Dark Goblin though, and that's actually some Archer Chip as well, so definitely big misplay on my opponent's end. Log the Princess once more. If he's smart right now, he should go Rascals, Goblin Barrel at the bridge, like Rascals and Barrel, and then I might be in a bit of trouble. But I can probably recuperate Elixir in time to defend that still. So yeah, he's up Elixir right now, goes for the Log. I'm once again going to pre-cycle skeletons for the barrel. Let's see if he goes for one. Probably not, though. Yeah, he's not going to go for one, so I'm just going to go archers in the back. It would actually be pretty funny if he rocketed that, because he would probably lose the game, but we'll see. Um, goes for the gang. Pretty safe play, all things considered. I'm actually going to ignore the barrel. Actually, um, I'm going to log late. 
Kind of late, but it's whatever. I'm going to fireball this for sure. That's a free fireball, and then that should be a connection because he does not really have much elixir. I'm going to get a knight down for the gang. Yep, goes gang. So knight in time, please. Okay, we did not really get it down in time. Expo gets taken out, but still a lot of damage coming in. Going to expo once again. I think he should prince. I don't know why he hasn't played prince the whole game. Yeah, that's his first prince the whole game. Should have played Prince much sooner, because Prince is a very good card. Gonna log that back, though, and then Skeletons to protect against the uh, Prince, and then I guess that's gonna be dead, unfortunately, but I can go Knight down low for the Dark Prince, or the Dark Goblin, rather, and if he goes Barrel, I can just Fireball it, so not really worried. I might actually defensive expo right here if he doesn't go Barrel. Okay, he goes Barrel, so I'm gonna Fireball, and then Ice Spirit the Bridge to catch the Princess, if he does go for one. Does not, so that's fine. Princess in the back. I'm actually going to expo right now, because if he goes for a rocket on the expo, it should still kill the princess. I think that's how the interaction works. Actually, rocket's my tower. I think that's not really a great play, honestly, because he's down elixir and down damage right now. Like, what was that rocket? So I'm just going to be able to fireball the gang and then get back to an expo. And I can log his rascals, and then he's not even back to his rocket. I can literally ignore that, because expo will help out. Okay, never mind. I did not want to help out. But yeah, he lost, for sure. He's not going rocket on the expo, so... He lost 100%, like, there's no way he defends this, right? Yeah, it's done, so. That's a huge lock. It goes Dark Goblin down uh, late. Doesn't matter, just gonna get the first Fireball down, and then just two Fireballs will seal it. Just have to not choke to a Princess at the bridge, which shouldn't be possible, because I have over 1.5k HP. And I'm just gonna play stuff down low just in case, and he goes Prince the back. Setting up for a push, but to his dismay, I'll just be able to get the Fireball down. And Ice, oh, I could've actually logged, because Ice Spirit did connect to Tower, but... Yeah, GG, he gives a well-played. I'll give him the well-played too, I guess. I mean, I don't think he played that well, but just to be a good sport. Um, so now we should be 8-0, I believe. Yep, let's just keep it going, keep the games coming. Only 30 wins, and we're already two thir or 30 minutes, rather. We're already two-thirds done with the challenge, so really, really nice stuff, actually. Um, against Mastermind right now. So players should be getting a bit better. We're at 8 wins right now, 8-0. No. I spirit the bridge. Gonna go Skeletons, and then Expo should be next up. No, okay, Expo is like last card in hand. Bit unfortunate, because I would have loved to go Expo with these split archers, but let's see what he does for them. Actually does nothing. I'm going to Knight to maybe bait something out, then if he plays something, I can Expo on the left. I think that should be okay. Yeah, I'm just going to Expo, why not? Go Skarmy. I mean, honestly, Skarmy's not a very high commitment play, and he has a Golem. Okay, do not like to see that, actually. I'm just going to Tesla DPS it down ASAP. I think that was not the best play, actually, that Expo, uh, but I can probably outcycle this Golem right now, so I'll actually count his cycle just for fun, right? So, Skarmy, Golem, so he's four away from a Golem away from a Skarmy, and he probably has, you know, Bomber, Arrows, Night Witch, uh, Mega Minion or Phoenix, and maybe E-Barbs in this deck. Mini P.E.K.K.A. too. I know the deck, uh, but he could be playing anything. Yeah, Zap, Zap Arrows, very likely. Gonna Skeletons the back, and he's very far away from his Golem, so I can actually go in right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So, let's see what he does. If he goes, okay, Mega, gonna go Expo on the right, because I don't want to go Expo into the Mega. And then if he goes like Skarmy, it can just log it all. Mini Pekka, gonna log plus Knight, and he should pretty much lose right here. Oh, he has, actually has a Fireball plus Zap, which is, I guess, better for me in a way. I mean, I don't know, like, actually, yeah, it's probably better for me, because Arrows is very annoying against Archers. Fireball is just one more Elixir for the same thing. He can also Fireball a Tesla, but it's usually a pretty bad play. All I have to do is go anti-Fireball Tesla, and then he can't really do much. He's probably just going to be fireballing my archers, which, I mean, does get more damage than a set of arrows, but it also costs one more elixir, so I think it's definitely not. Like, Golem's not a chip deck. It's like a big push deck. I'm, I'm going to do something risky here and go Expo, just because I feel like it. Um, you, I never really recommend going Expo into a Golem like this, but I honestly just feel like it, so we'll see if I regret it. Probably has a Night Witch, which I think I actually shouldn't have done that, because now if he goes Night Witch behind this, I'm in a bit of trouble, because I don't actually have an Electro Spirit in this deck. Goes for the mini P though, that should actually get targeted by the Tesla first, and it does. So I'm gonna knight, skeletons protect the Tesla, last second, and then I can ice spirit as well, and then I think I have to log plus Tesla back to a new Tesla for the golem. And that's actually somehow a dead knight witch, wow. I'm gonna get a really nice fireball here on everything. Once the golem pops, I'm gonna get a huge fireball on literally everything. That was a beautiful fireball, and that is going to be GG's, because he's not gonna come back from this deficit. I'm gonna expo white right now just to force out a golem if he even has enough elixir. I don't think he does. Um, yeah, he, oh, he just barely does, but I mean, I'm forcing him to go on the left so that he can't go anything in the right, because he has to take tower on the right. Like, the left, nothing is happening in the left right now, so. Mega in front, that's gonna get targeted by the tower. No, it's not, never mind, I take it back, but still. Very easy game overall, really nice win. And yeah, we take that, right? So, we're gonna go skeletons up high, and say I didn't win the game right now, that would just been a very clean defense still, as you can see. 
Archers would have cleaned everything up, so really, really nice win against Golem. Pretty much flawlessly played. I'm actually playing really well today. Feels good to say that, so... Yeah, really nice stuff. And I'm feeling pretty good, like, physically, because back exercises helped a lot. So honestly, this is going pretty well so far. 9-0. I mean, a 12-0 would be wonderful to kick the series back off. Can't get too ahead of myself, but... I mean, it would be nice, right? So, <laughs> let's see. Looking for the next game, actually taking quite a long time. I'm gonna cancel out and... Okay, never mind. Of course, as soon as I cancel, we find the match, but... Found our game against Matten here. Gonna give him the good luck. Let's see what he's gonna be running. Gonna go Skeletons. He gives the Crying Face for some reason. Gonna Ice Spirit 2 and Miner. Okay, I'm gonna go Knight for the Miner. I think I got it down too late. Yeah, unfortunate. Miner plus Spear. So this could be Mega Knight Bait. Could also be Mega Knight Wallbreakers. And okay, it's actually gonna be... Ooh, Miner Wallbreakers with the Marcher. Probably gonna be my hard counter. This is gonna be a huge expo. He has to Valk on top of everything. And sadly, to... Uh, uh, or sadly for him, he actually misplaces the Valk, doesn't slash the archers. That's going to be GG because I can just Tesla this and hover log for the Wallbreakers and he can't do anything anymore. So yeah, honestly, kind of a sad start to this game. But I mean, oh, he has a Fireball. Okay, never mind. If he had like NATO, that would have been worse for him, like NATO log. But he has Fireball NATO, I guess. No log is also not bad, actually. Um, I don't have to commit to that, I think, because it'll only get one Spear Goblin hit and that's honestly fine. Oh, actually two, never mind, but still. Yeah, really huge lead right now, and I mean, my opponent was just a bit too aggressive at the start, so we'll take it. Gonna knight the back, he should be low on Elixir, uh, definitely. Yeah, as you can see, I went knight and he's leaking right now, so I'm up by at least one, two. He looks like I'm up three Elixir, really bad play, minor wallbreakers into a uh, knight already. Terrible play, I can probably win off of this counter push with this expo. Don't really see any way in which he defends this, unless he... I don't know, somehow defends everything, but I really doubt it. Like, I really doubt it, because what's he going to do? If he fireballs, then he can't afford to go bomb tower. If he bomb towers, he can't afford to fireball right away, because he's low on elixir from that overexpenditure, and that's going to be GG. So I don't think overexpenditure is a word, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, that's GG anyways. Like, he cannot do anything here, so... I think he was just way too aggressive. I mean, who goes minor wallbreakers into a knight? That's, like, really weird. I don't know. I mean, Remy Ellie has beaten me in this matchup many times before. I haven't played him much because he's always really high on ladder, but, like, when I was super high with Broken Archer Queen, I was, like, top 50 in the world. He actually beat me, so, I mean, this deck is, this matchup is definitely winnable with a good minor Wallbreakers player, but, yeah, I'm gonna log. Really nice defense there. Skeleton's on the minor. Log on everything. I'm actually gonna try and defend this expo just for fun, so Ice Spirit plus Knight. Really perfect Knight timing there, actually, to get the Valk. Uh, okay, actually, really nice NATO on his end, but... Unfortunately for him, he actually misplaced the bomb tower. Doesn't even hit the expo, so never mind. I take it back. Goes for minor wallbreakers. Really weird play. I know what he did there. He went minor like to the side to try and tank for the expo because this minor placement does actually tank for an expo, but he played it way too late, so I don't really know what he was thinking with that, honestly. Myco Spears behind, so I'm going to wait on my knight. Okay, goes marcher. I'm just going to knight for the marcher, and then I can just fireball, actually. I don't really care, and that's just a free fireball on everything, and then I can expo right now. If he goes minor wallbreakers again, I'll literally just go skeletons plus log plus ice spirit just to be safe. Why not? And that's a uh, connection. That's probably going to be two towers down. I don't see how he defends this one either, to be honest. So, yeah, GG's. Perfect game against minor wallbreakers. Literally no mistakes whatsoever on my end. On his end, numerous mistakes. But we don't talk about it, I guess. Took both towers. So, yeah, really nice. I'm actually playing this really well. I'm really happy about it. So, yeah, and honestly, it hasn't even been too long. Only, like, 38 minutes. I could honestly finish this in under 45, which is really good, actually. Like, and I'm, another thing I'm going to do, guys, I'm probably not going to edit this one with video timestamps. I usually do, but I just kind of want to chill. If the series does really well, then I'll obviously put more effort into it, but I just want to see how it does the first time around. Because if you guys are, like, you know, normally watching my channel, you know that I usually like to put video timestamps on every match. And, you know, a text for the matchup right at the start, but that takes so much time out of me. Like, lots of time and e effort. Okay, same matchup, I think. Gonna Ice Spirit plus Skellies for this set of Wallbreakers. Oh, he actually has a go uh, or That's a Mighty Miner. I said Goblin Drill for some reason, um, but that should be a lock. He, he got a lot of damage, unfortunately. That's annoying, but we still get a fair amount of damage. This could be our first loss, actually, because this is a really bad matchup, but I'll try my best. I don't think that should have gotten so much wallbreaker damage. I think log wasn't in cycle, though, or it already logged before. Either way, that was a bit unfortunate, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. Gonna split archers in the back, and goes minor again. Might go wallbreakers, he does. Gonna log. This should be defended because the archer's helping out against the minor. Yeah, DPS coming in clutch. I can definitely expo right now. Gonna skeletons break the cannon as well. Um, goes low mighty, so that's fine. If he goes cannon, I'm actually gonna fireball right here because I think it's better than a knight. Okay, I'm actually still going to fireball the bats. I think it's worth it. Yeah, and he goes spears. That's definitely probably a lock. Going to ice spirit. He has to go log, I think. 
Okay, I, I wish I got more damage out of that than I did. I thought it would get more, but still, we're getting some damage, I guess, but... I'm pretty sure he has a cannon, so this is a really bad matchup still. I really don't like this matchup, but I'm gonna try my best, of course, because... Yeah, I, I want to get the flawless 12-0, and 0, you know, that would be wonderful. Um, goes Wallbreaker, is just gonna go for Log. Goes Miner late. Okay, pretty nice play, actually. Was not expecting that. Might actually get a connection for that. Wow, he actually does. That was a good play, man. This is annoying. Um... I think I can't really expo and get a lock next time. I might have just expo to bait out the Mighty Miner and then, like, chill. This is a pain so far. I'm going to expo right now, just bait out the Mighty Miner, I guess. Skeletons predict the building as well. Bomb tower. Going to night, hopefully in time. Okay, it was in time, actually. I'm uh, going to Ice Bridge to reset the Mighty. And that's going to be a dead expo. Wow, that's really bad. I'm going to Archers. He might uh, poison these. If he does, I think he might actually lose, though, because I can expo again. But he was smart. He waited. Goes Wallbreaker's picking my expo. Pretty good play, but I was too low on Elixir to actually go in. I'm going to go in now, though. Eat the entirety of the Wallbreakers, and then Skeleton's Knight for the Bomb Tower. Goes Miner. Going to Ice Spirit plus Log on the Miner. Hopefully I can get a Log here. I really need one. Um, okay, maybe not. Going to Archers as well, though. Yeah, that's not going to be a Lock. As you can see, this is just a terrible matchup. Like, how am I supposed to get a Lock in this matchup if he plays it well? Although Skeletons are really nice positive trade against the Wallbreakers, and definitely go in right here with this one Archer. Does go with the Bomb Tower. We're gonna Ice Spirit plus Log, and I can maybe get a small lock if I'm lucky. Nope. As you can see, he just has so many easy counters. I'm still gonna try, but I really despise this matchup, man. And I actually misplaced my Archers, so... Man, we might be getting a, lo a loss here, unfortunately. Not looking great. Uh, we'll see, though. Gonna Skeleton is the middle, and I think I just... I don't have a choice. I have to keep going in at this point. He actually predicts with the Bats. Well played. Um, I think I have to archers for the miner. I just can't take that damage, unfortunately. I really can't. Um, I'm gonna skeletons, though, try and protect this expo at least a little bit. We do get a small lock, but not much. He goes log. I'm gonna go in right away. And he actually predicts with the mighty. I'm, I'm gonna have to do something here. I'm gonna have to go, go log to reset the mighty onto my knight. Hopefully I got it down. I think I did. Uh, so ice spirit plus skellies for the miner, too. I actually think that might have been a really clean play. That's actually a really good play, because now I can go in again off of this, uh, next push. Goes wallbreakers. I'm going to split archers and then go for another expo. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go in again and log the spears ASAP. Might be expecting them to stay alive for a while. Ice Spirit Skellies, and then I really need this connection, like, really badly, but he knows what he's doing, man. I'm going to have to let that go, I think. And then Wallbreaker should both explode. Nope. Okay, one explodes on my tower. That's so bad. I'm going to Knight Expo, but this is honestly a loss, guys. Probably in triple, there's no chance, and this is just a terrible matchup. Like, it is. Uh, unless I get a lock here. Oh my god, I got a lock. Okay, hold on. That was a really nice log. I'm going to defend this with everything because, you know, you guys always know what I say. If you're, like, making a comeback or if you're down so much, you have to get a lock and you have to hold the lock for as long as you can. And, oh my god, we actually won. That was a terrible matchup. I was down the whole game and we somehow came back. Let's go. So, I guess never give up, right? I was pretty demoralized, actually. I thought I was going to lose that one, like, the whole time. But we made it work. So, let's go. 11-0. and I have to get the 12-0 and now, right? Like, there's no way... I can't let that beautiful win go to waste. So, final game against 52831. Gonna play my best here. Play super safe and just try and get. Because I want the 12 0. It'd be very nice to get. Um, split archers could be a 3 0 mirror match. That would be very interesting. You don't really see many other decks with archers right now. Never mind, it's gonna be mortar. So, gonna go skeletons for the mortar. And then archers late for it, I think. Um, this should be okay. If he logs, I can go expo. And mortar might get one hit on tower, but shouldn't be that bad. He can probably just. Okay, recruits, are you serious? Okay, I don't know what this is anymore, to be honest. I'm going to go Knight plus Log, I think, though, and then Ice Spirit to Kite. I think at in these single elixir early situations, you don't really want to be going uh, and taking too much damage. Like, I'm taking some recruit damage there, but I think I should have kited them inwards, and wow, we actually take a lot of damage. Oh, no. Not looking great right now. I might Expo, though, because those were some archers on some low elixir, I think. At least I hope. I'm gonna go expo. He's not back to recruits right now. He has to go defensive mortar or something. Let's see what he has. If he has a rocket, I'll be kind of sad. Yeah, defensive mortar, that's fine. Um, but what else does he have for this? Let's see. If he's back to recruits, that'll be annoying, man. Let's see. Or, okay, fireball. That's fine. We get a pretty nice connection, actually. So, recruits, mortar, fireball. Very weird deck. What is this? Okay. Um, haven't seen any win cons other than the mortar right now. He also has archers, which is really weird. Like, I don't know why he has archers, It's it doesn't make sense, but I'm just going to split my own archers right here. Him having fireball is really good news, because if he had a rocket, that would have been a lot more scary. Since he does have fireball, though, I'm not too worried. Got to at the back right now, he's just letting this go, I guess. Um, I could Ice Spirit in front, but he might go recruits for the archers, so I'm not going to go Ice Spirit. Flying Machine, that's a free fireball right away on the tower. have to react fast enough to get it, but 
definitely worth it. If I was him, I would go recruits on this knight right now, because I should be kind of low on elixir after that. Nope, just goes knight. I don't know why he has a knight and recruit. It's so weird, but... Okay, goblin hut. Uh, I'm going to log and maybe try and get back to a fireball. Actually, I'm going to go Tesla. This Tesla placement should full counter those goblins. I have actually have some PTSD against the goblin hut, because... Uh, it actually is so annoying. He actually plays a pretty good mortar as well, not letting me uh, fireball the mortar plus tower. So he kind of knows what he's doing, I guess. He might fireball those, so I'm going to go Ice Spirit in case he does, and he does, yeah. So I really had to, so really good Ice Spirit there. Going to log, and then I'm actually going to go for an unconventional fireball there on the spears plus the recruits. I think that was okay, I guess. And then I can split archers. I do have to worry about the flying machine right now, though. Um, so we'll see. He's probably getting back to one very soon. Going to knight, and then get back to a fireball for this. I think I got it down. Nice. And then Knight as well. And I think I defended fine, actually. Knight. And yeah, we're fine. He's going to get a pretty good fireball, but we're still alive. So not really in the world. And okay. I'm going to have to go for a Tesla plus log on the archers because I need this mortar to die. Goes for Yeah, if I didn't go for that log, I would have probably lost the game because mortar might have gotten like multiple hits. So his only win con is, I think, mortar. So I think I just have to defensive expo. There's no point going in whatsoever. Uh, so I'm just going to defensive expo, actually. Oh no, I misplaced it. That's in fireball range. That's really bad. Um, yeah, that was really bad. He actually gets a free fireball. Okay, that was my bad. Um, I'm just going to high Tesla again, though. So I think this is the tech with Tesla against the Goblin Hut. You have to go for a high Tesla, because a low Tesla just isn't going to do the trick. Gonna at the back as well. Yeah, as you can see, all the Goblins should get kited towards the low Tesla. Gonna log on the side that I need damage in, of course. And then just defense sucks bow again. I need all the help I can get defending this. Skeletons to protect the Tesla a little bit. And then, uh, this is... I'm gonna fireball that, actually. That's a fair amount of fireball value, not gonna lie. Yeah, we take it. Um, and then I can go archers. He can fireball if he wants. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have given him that fireball, but... Yeah, I think... I don't know, this is looking tight right now. Gonna Ice Spirit 2. We are fine, actually. I'm gonna... Actually, I don't need to log that, because Expo should be doing pretty well against it. I'm gonna go for a Knight and then Defensive Expo, I guess. I think I have to, right? Like, how else do I defend this? Log as well. For the archers plus spears, Expo does lock onto mortar, which is huge because that's all I really wanted. Now I can probably just uh, fireball cycle later on. So, yeah, defense Expo is definitely the name of the game right now. Just gonna fireball cycle at this point, and then defense Expo again. I think this is how I want to play this one. Don't really have another choice. I want a log cycle on the side that I want damage in, of course, but I do have to take care of those spears. He's going for pretty interesting fireballs though, like naked fireball will have a defense expo up, isn't going to do the trick, I can literally just go for an offensive fireball myself, and then go in right here because I have a defense expo up, just force a lot of elixir out, really bad play on his end knight flying machine, going to cut the knight out of expo range, and log, I think I have to fireball that actually, I don't think I have a choice, so going to fireball it, and then ice spirit, and he has to fireball here, and we get a small lock, nope, we force the archers out, which is just as well because... There's no way he can stop this now. I'm going to get back to another fireball, and we're going to cement the victory there. So that is so good. I'm actually going to get back to two fireballs for fun. So I'm going to just cycle really fast right now. So skeletons, log. Okay, I don't think I got it down in time, unless I did. I didn't, yeah, GG. But that was a perfect game, pretty much. I mean, I kind of adapted as we went on, obviously. Number one, he did a good job of going spear goblin huts in the other lane, but... I did a really good job of, you know, the Tesla tech where you have to play it one tile higher. I think that you just have no choice. You know, the old center Tesla used to defend single spears really well, but three spears, two just get tower damage, and that's how I lost um, a snipe in the GT, actually. That's kind of how I know that tech, so yeah. That's 12 wins, though, guys. 12 and 0 for the, to mark the first return of the series. Really nice stuff. Again, please let me know if you enjoy this series because it takes a lot of effort, you know, not only to record for this long, but also just commentate live the whole time. Like, it doesn't make sense to do a voiceover for something like this, right, when you're playing for like 50 minutes straight. So it's literally all live right now. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I enjoy it, though. If I'm like feeling good and I am right now, like, you know, not really uh, doing too bad uh, overall, pretty stressed from my class, but overall, like, you know, making my back exercises my number one priority, definitely been paying off so far. So just doing pretty well in that regard. And I feel pretty happy about this, but still probably going to uh, delegate it to Sundays, like maximum once a week, because this is a lot of effort. But let me know if you guys do enjoy the series, because I actually did kind of enjoy that. I love going 12 and 0, actually. It's pretty nice while commentating live. Like, it's very easy to do without commentary, but... Obviously, I try and commentate as well as I can as well. Like, that's kind of the goal of my channel, you know, just giving nice, high-quality commentary to give you better insight into my games. But this was a wonderful comeback. I really loved that we won that one. And some other nice wins, too. This was nice. Um, this was really nice. This was really nice, too. And then this one, I guess some people would want to see how to beat that because he has P.E.K.K.A., M.K., Wizard, Hog, Arrows, Bowler, Mirror. So, like... 
pretty much every expert tank imaginable, but I'll give you guys one pro tip. If you can't break through against this deck, you don't need to. Just defensive expo, and you can just spell cycle if you really need to, because how's he going to punch a defensive expo? He has no big spell except arrows. Freeze isn't going to do anything, so that's my advice for decks like these. If you, a lot, I think a lot of beginners make the mistake thinking that you have to get an expo lock as early as possible. Definitely not the case. You can play as patiently as you need. Even take it to t uh, tiebreaker if you need to. But yeah, Recruit's second game was gr great overall. But really, really nice stuff overall. You know, really happy with that. 12-0 and flawless to return the series. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.